Hey folks, what's going on? Air of Carthage here, and a while back, uh, my sponsor MSI gave me the opportunity to help show you all how to build this awesome computer from the ground up. Now this is an MSI B450 Tomahawk that I paired with an AMD uh, Ryzen 5 2600X. It's a 6-core, 12-thread processor. And I've paired that up with an MSI Ventus GTX 1660 Ti. Now Total War had released the recommended specs for Total War Three Kingdoms and of course Warhammer 2 has been around and I told you all whenever I built this that this thing would run Total War Three Kingdoms and do it quite well and I'm going to be here to prove that today Now, before we jump into the actual game performance let's jump over to the build and let me talk through the prices and how you could even tweak this to potentially make it even cheaper. All right, here is a list of the parts. Right now, as configured, and these prices change because you know people will put stuff on sale, but as it's priced, $842.15. Now there's a way that you could make this even cheaper still, multiple ways, but here's one of the ways I suggest. Cut out one of those eight gig sticks of RAM and you'll probably save 20 to $30. Cut out that Western digital um, internal hard drive if you don't need the extra storage and you just wanna play games. That saves you another $45. And then you could come down there and probably save another $20 or $30 on the case if you want to just get something cheaper that may be um, a little, that may look a little less amazing. Um, so yeah, you could easily cut off probably another close to $100 here if you wanted to, and then if you watch for sales. So we're talking about a computer anywhere from about $840 all the way down to well under $800 that can run this game on recommended settings for excellent frame rates and high graphics. And the main part I want to focus on is that MSI B450 Tomahawk motherboard. That motherboard is fantastic for the price. You uh, can work on overclocking these Ryzen processors if you want. This thing's got a ton of support for SSDs, uh, very fast RAM. It's got great cooling on the VRM, um, so it can handle all the power delivery for high performance parts. And probably the best thing of all, MSI has already confirmed that this B450 Tomahawk will support Zen 2, which is going to be the third generation Ryzen processors. Those are due to be announced in about a week, which means that this motherboard has you set for future upgrades. So you can get a computer now, or you can um, you know, get this and still use it with those new Zen 2 chips that will be coming out soon. So really fantastic flexibility. I just wanted to give you a view of this thing completely built up on my desk just to give you again I showed you I know it's not super cheap but anywhere from 760 to about 840 dollars you can build this computer by yourself looking this awesome <laughs> you can do this now the colors on the fans and some of the other things that that depends on the case you pick but I'm just saying that this this is what I just showed you all very close to what I just showed you all on the parts list there's a few deviations here you can build something this awesome with that amount of money. Looks this awesome. And how awesome does it perform? Well, we'll get there. But first, let me show you its competitor for tonight, just for fun. And of course, it's an Intel build. You always got to have AMD versus Intel, right? Um, and I will be making a separate video to kind of document some of the performance of Intel builds you could do with MSI's Z390 uh, motherboard. So this is about... 3000 or more dollars worth of elite gaming computer build that we're comparing this thing to because I want you all to see what you can do with that budget versus Air's extreme overkill build that I made here because a lot of people think you got to have a computer like this to run the game to where it looks exactly like I do and that's not entirely true and so we're going to compare it to this big beast and I'm going to show you how it compares is it a fair comparison um, not on every level I do even it out just to kind of, you know, give you all a, a feel for what the actual difference is between that B450 and the Ryzen and the Intel and the Z390. Because you'll hear a lot of people say, oh, Intel's just the best for gaming. Let's see. So starting off, this is the benchmarks on the Ryzen 5 2600X GTX 1660 Ti. All right, and this is average frames per second in the benchmark. And this particular benchmark is the battle benchmark, 
and I have benchmarked at both ultra settings, the ultra preset, I should say, and the high preset. So Three Kingdoms is on the top, um, and uh, you can see there that at ultra, we got 53.5 uh, frames per second average, and then on high, we got 74.2. So this is pretty impressive. That means that Three Kingdoms, with that build I just showed you, um, you can actually run on high settings at over 60 frames a second. That is some fantastic performance. And then on Warhammer 2, the Ultra preset, we got 60.8 and then 87.5 on high. So this means that both Three Kingdoms and Warhammer 2, you are easily in 60 plus FPS territory, which means your frame rate um, should be very smooth, provide very nice gameplay that doesn't feel laggy or choppy. So very impressed by the performance of this. And now I want to show you, though, this is with that 1660 Ti. Well, what if you want to have this AMD, uh, the AMD platform with MSI's B450 Tomahawk, but you want to spend some more money? You want to really dump a lot of money into a graphics card, and that's where I've now compared the Intel build and this AMD build um, when they have the same graphics card to kind of give you all a feel for what kind of differences there are between um, Intel and AMD in this regard. All right, so I compared AMD and Intel here. So this is the Ultra preset on Total War Three Kingdoms. I didn't do Warhammer here because this ought to be good enough. Um, I had a GTX 1080 Ti in both builds. So this will give you two things. One, it'll show you what that um, B450 Tomahawk Ryzen processor can do if you want to spend more money on a graphics card. This, this GTX 1080 Ti is going to perform pretty similar to an RTX 2080 if you're looking for this generation, right? So this is about $800 worth of graphics card, probably. Um, and I look at this, look at this. The 9900K is up on top. So I, I did two settings, 1080p resolution and 1440p resolution, because with the better graphics card, you can run it both. And the 9900K and the 2600X were literally almost inseparable at 1440p. So think about that cost difference. This is a 170 something dollar Ryzen processor competing against $550 of flagship i9 from Intel. Let that soak in for a second. Now some people don't like to play at 1440p and honestly I can say for any gamer on a budget I don't recommend it because it costs so much and it hits your performance. So let's be fair and let's look at 1080p. Intel claims to be the king of gaming, and this would seem to indicate that they are in this case. 92.9 .9 frames per second on 1080p um, on the Ultra preset. That is some very solid performance from Intel, but still a very respectable 80.4 on the only 170 something dollar processor from AMD. That's about a 15% difference. So again, think of the price differences between these, plus the fact that you know the AMD motherboard can be used in the next generation of their processors. Okay, now let's have some fun, okay? We're gonna play a battle. is nothing more than empty words now, Lord Cao Cao. If China is to know order, you must make it so. Across the Bien River, Xu Rong arrays his armies against you. His men are well trained and ready for war. Your men have not been so weathered by war, but you must nevertheless rise above to see victory. The coalition does nothing, and so I must act. The tyrant fields a larger army, stronger perhaps, but there are few options. He must be opposed. I have sent for reinforcements, but am uncertain whether the aid will come. All the same, we must hold against the tyrant's onslaught. If we persevere, and if reinforcements arrive, then we may have hope. Do not let it be said that Cao Cao did not try to hold back the chaos. Let it be said that I fought to restore order. Okay, I figured I'd let you all have that cinematic intro, so I've taken a little liberty here. I have a frame counter up in the top left-hand corner. This is the build that I introduced you all here at the beginning. So this is the 
MSI B450 Tomahawk, Ryzen 5 2600X, and GTX 1660Ti. This is the build that would run you anywhere from about um, $750 or $60 up to about $840 as priced right now. I have this on the extreme unit settings here too to show you. You can push this build. I just had it on the, uh, I showed you the high preset. You can sometimes push it higher. So this is the high preset graphics, but with extreme unit sizes. And I want to show you what happens in a real battle. So I'm going to let you all watch this battle and kind of see how this thing performs. I probably won't talk through the whole thing, but I'll have the whole battle in here so you can see the frame rates. Now, there will be times when the frame rate will drop below 60. Um, but it, if it did go below 45 in here, it was not much below. It was a very smooth experience. And again, this is extreme unit settings. So this is like a torture test that you can put onto this machine. So um, it doesn't just mean, like I said earlier, that you can just play on Ultra. Sometimes you can push it even further with these builds if you're not terribly worried about the frame rate sometimes dropping uh, below 60. But I mean, any machine, even my beefy Intel machine, is occasionally dropping below 60 frames in this game. A huge battles in Total War, that just happens. But anyway, I showed you the loading screens. I'm going to show you the loading screen on the way out, and I'm going to show you the whole battle. You, you watch it and decide for yourself whether or not the performance of this machine is impressive. I think it's downright amazing the kind of performance that you can get for the price. And I can tell you all that if I wasn't a YouTuber who needs an absolute top-end computer and can kind of justify it, I would build something like this because I wouldn't then be wasting my money. I'd be getting fantastic performance. I'd be set up for great future upgrades and I would not have wasted all my money. So you all check out the battle. Enjoy this. Again, MSI B450 Tomahawk is going to be the platform for your AMD build, in my opinion. And those AMD builds are going to be very capable. I'm proving it to you here. I'm not hating on Intel. I'm going to show you the Intel side of the story, but there are a lot of people out there who basically just, well, Intel's better. Don't even look at AMD. That That's just not true. It's just not true, and I'm proving it to you here, and you can do it on a budget. So, again, appreciate MSI sponsoring me. Um, you guys go check it out. In fact, it's it's their sponsorship that gives me all the awesome hardware that brings you all the awesome videos. So I very much appreciate them. And uh, I actually love making these videos for them because I love PC building and I've loved their parts for a long time. So it's, it's kind of a dream come true. I'm pretty excited about it. Anyway, watch the rest of the battle. Enjoy it. I'll shut my face. Links are in the description to the PC part picker part list and then for the MSI product. I'll have a link there. Thank you very much. I will see you all soon. You seem to be struggling. Need some help? Is that your best? Come on, try harder.
Prepare. 